Oh my god, I'm back in my truck. Oh my god, what a night. My feet are tired. I had a good three days off and well almost well it was like a couple of days off in Florida. Seen some relatives. Went to the beach. What else did I do down in Florida? Went to some preserve, you know, park, seen some alligators. Went down to Miami, picked a load up, took it to Atlanta, a bunch of frozen seafood. There were no loads today. There was nothing today. Fright was so dry today. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go to downtown Atlanta and walk around. Whatever happens, happens. So I took a took an Uber right over there. Went over to Georgia Aquarium. They said, well, we close at nine o'clock. I'm thinking, okay, I got plenty of time to go see Coca-Cola Museum then. So I went over to Coca-Cola Museum. My parents took me to Coca-Cola Museum when I was a little kid. When I was like, well, I grew up in Michigan, but when I was like, I don't know, what year was it, 92? I was like uh, nine years old. Uh, we took a family vacation down to Georgia. And I was nine years old, my brother was seven. And we went to and we went to the Coca-Cola Museum in the underground Atlanta when I was like a child on a, on a Georgia vacation. We also took a Florida vacation when I was like, God, 13, seeing Disney World. So this is the second time I've seen Coca-Cola. There's not that much in Coca-Cola Museum. It was like 45 minutes and I was right through that thing. There wasn't much there. Then I went over to the Georgia Aquarium, which is my second time there. Uh, my first time was in 2015. So then I went over to CNN. I thought, oh, what the hell, I think I'm gonna go back to the truck. But before I go to the back of the truck, I wanna find something to eat, so that was my plan. And I went over to CNN headquarters, because I knew there was a cafeteria in there. Sports Live ATL was talking about it in the comment section. I thought, okay, I'll check it out. And I found some Chinese chicken, Asian food. My original plan was after that, I'm gonna go back to get an Uber ride back to my truck. But I didn't know that CNN headquarters was uh, head connected to the State Farm Arena. So I was sitting in the cafeteria eating my Chinese food, and I seen all these people going up to the State Farm Arena. I'm like, what the hell's going on at State Farm Arena? And I heard Avery, I, I heard a uh, Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande music. So I thought maybe it was an Ariana Grande concert because I seen all these little girls, and I thought, okay, I tell out some of those girls were cheerleaders for the for the for the football for the, the uh, basketball game. So I didn't know what was going on. So I went on my phone and typed it up, what's going on at State Farm Arena, just out of curiosity. Oh, there's a basketball game tonight. Oh, no shit. I didn't know. Who are they playing? Oh, Atlanta Hawks versus the Miami Heat. Okay. Oh, they started at 6. I'm looking at my clock and it's like 5.40. I'm thinking, oh, what the hell? I'm going to go to a basketball game. <laughs> I haven't been to a basketball game in, God, years. So I thought, oh, what the hell? I'm going to go to a basketball game tonight. So... I mean, 15 minutes before 6, 15 minutes before the game started, I ordered my ticket. Got the first row in nosebleed, 53 bucks, not bad, got a good seat. I mean, I mean, it was an excellent seat, but it was the first row in nosebleed, from you probably know from my videos. So, had a good time, got a good view. It was a pretty good game, Atlanta won, 106 to 82. Not really an Atlanta fan, not really a Miami fan, but you know, let's go watch some basketball. I got downtime in Atlanta. There's no fright. I want, you know, I gotta, you gotta keep your mind active. You know, you gotta go get out of the truck and do stuff sometimes. You know what I mean? It keeps you sane, you know? You know, I, I drive cross country and sometimes I get locked in this truck for so long. It's just like, it makes me insane sometimes. You know, I took the whole day and I got away from the truck for a while. And, got some exercise and I didn't even think about it went on a scale I'm down to 164 pounds 164 five more and I get down to 150 you know below 160 my goal is about 150 155 so I'm down to 164 pounds by walking around these last few days at Florida right here in Atlanta and not even thinking about it drinking water I mean, I went to the Coca-Cola museum and they give you a free Coke, so I thought, what the hell? I don't think one Coke is gonna hurt me. So I got a Diet Coke. It's only seven ounces, but you know, there's seven ounce cans they give you. 
So anyway, yeah, my phone is like dead. I had to buy another charger, charge it up at the arena. So I got an Uber back to the truck. I got to throw some laundry on. I got I to throw my sheets on, my bed sheets. I got to wash them. They're getting kind of, you know, I got to wash them. So anyway, so I'm, there's like no fright coming out of Atlanta today. Sunday, there are certain places where Sunday just sucks with fright. So Sunday is that day where a lot of places, if you ain't got a load that picks up Friday, delivers Monday, busy for the weekend, you know, pretty much screwed for the weekend. I mean, I I picked up this load out of Miami on a Friday night. It delivered this morning on the east side. And I figured there ain't going to be shit for fright today. So I'm working on trying to get a load and there ain't, there ain't shit. So I took the day and got some exercise. I spent about 250 bucks. I spent, I, I'm done spending money, I, you know. I had to buy some accessories for my truck. That was a hundred bucks. Uh, the Georgia Aquarium was forty-four dollars. Coca-Cola Museum was seventeen dollars. The basketball ticket was fifty-three dollars. And then I got food, Chinese food, and I bought a cheeseburger over at the uh, right in front of the uh, Georgia Aquarium. So I spent I spent some money today. Enough. So tomorrow I get back to work. So shout out to Sports Live ATL. He's it was in my comment section. How you like my city? Hey, you got I love your city. You got a great city. Atlanta is a a very popping city. I got to be honest. But I had fun today. So I mean, it's too bad me and Sports Live ATL couldn't meet up for a you know a quick vlog or whatever. But well, maybe next time. So anyway, yeah, I'm a little tired. I'm gonna. I gotta get my phone charged up. You know, I could go inside the truck stop right now and get a stupid salad. But it ain't too late. What time is it? 9.30? I don't know. What time is it? Yeah. About 9. A little after 9. Okay. I'm just, uh... Yeah, I was downtown for a long time. I was downtown for like 8, 9 hours. Anyway, I need to get some water. Oh, shit, I'm tired. So that was my day, huh? And for everybody that subscribed to me, so sorry for the mass uploads. I just, I don't edit videos very often. Throw it to an editor. And then, you know, the problem with that is, you know, I don't have an editor on my phone. I have to up. I have to upload the videos to my laptop, and I, and some of the times I don't get a damn good signal at some of these la uh, truck stops. So then I gotta wait till I get a good signal, and that could be up to two weeks, you know. Then I gotta edit the video. So I just say upload, 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 upload one piece at a time. Sorry for the mass uploads. So it is what it is. So I, I just don't see the point of spending quality time uploading videos. Either you like my videos or you don't. You know, you either like my channel or you don't. Don't like it on sub. So, sorry for spamming everybody's inbox. But, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway. I'm out. Shout out. Atlanta, Atlanta Hawks. Congrats.